draw a control circuit of a sleep ring motor. So a control circuit of a sleep ring motor. It is all the component contactors from the from a uh, circuit breaker uh, switches contactors relay and the neutral so let's get started and see how to draw it slipping motor actually is the motor that has um, a resistor banks in it so the resistor banks they just uh, reduces the starting current and then it goes down and uh, when it it, it in the, the resistor are reducing the current increases until it uh, it's a DOL So let's get started. Let's start with the circuit breaker. You have a circuit breaker. The circuit breaker. This piece is so so small. This is a single phase circuit breaker. Uh, it protects the circuit from any damages if the uh, excessive current there's a lot of current in it, it trips. If there's a thermal heat more than it requires, it trips. So this one I'm drawing it's a uh, overload. And this one it's a emergency stop button. So overload trips when the motor has an overload. So if there's an overload in a motor, it trips protect the motor from any damages. So this is an emergency stop. E stop. So this one is a stop button. And this is an overload represented by OL. And then now let's draw this one, it's the main start button it's a normal open you press and it start and then it return to its original position and the contactor take over the interlock and the normal close the normal open closes this is for the main main circuit normally open so it, it's one thing with the coil this is a coil inside the contact in contactor so there's a coil there's an interlock and let's connect the now it's an overload um, normal close of main this one normal open not normal close
when this one energized this one closes as well so we put the normally close for the for last uh, last coil for of the resistor which uh, kicks this off at the last stage so there's stage one stage two and stage three when this one energize this one energize this closes this closes and then the current go through the time this is the time and the on delay timer can call it term, timer number one the timer uh, closes timer have been anomaly normally open can be one and three and then it trigger the first coil after 10 seconds or after a certain time that you have set to this is the main coin which uh, hold all the coins so if this one is not working or if this one is faulty or uh, the second one start or something wrong happened to this one it might cause a problem to the whole circuit and then this is the second time so it trigger by the uh, normal close normal open of of the coin number one so that it could will it will close when this is timer number two And then this one controlled by timer number two. This is the second coin. Controlled by timer number two. Normally open. And then this one in the coin number two start the timer number three. To count. We start by Then timer number three will start the coin, the last coin, which after this coin, everything will start. Everything will start by run with the um, DO. Yeah. So the the motor will start running with the lower current, it reduces the current.
the net last stage all the resistor kick off And then this one will connect to the neutral depend on um, on your coil what size of your coil so if you coil it's two two thirty use a neutral if it's three eight it will use line to line so this is normally open so press the start button after closing the, the current run through the coil the coil closes here and closes here then this timer comes in when this timer comes in it, after a certain period of time that you have set it it will close here and then the second the first uh, coil start uh, to close and then after it closes it closes the second time the time will start counting and then the second time it closes here and then the second coin closes when the second uh, coin closes, the normally clo uh, normally open will close for the second time and then start the third time. So uh, the third time I will take to to the last coin. This is normally open. So after this one, this one will close when it energizes open this one then this one is off now the, the, the circuit will continue with the DOM so this is how it be and uh, thank you for watching and see you on the next video